how to respect and honor your energy while manifesting your twin flame union. Welcome back. We're Adam and Brianne, Master Certified Ascension Coaches with Twin Flames Universe. And I got my twin flame here with me in a video. Had to wrangle him in <laughs> for a video. True story. Yeah. True story. So would you like to share a little bit about what what we mean by honoring and respecting your energy for the purpose of manifesting your twin flame union? Well, it can be very like small things, right? Things you don't even think about. So recently I've become aware of like a lot of music, which, you know, we don't really think about, but music is energy, right? And I was thinking about it and I'm like, well, I want to consume only thing that has love in it and things that have good vibes to it, right? Mm -hmm. So kind of like when we were sitting in the car, we had a few experiences with this. And I was kind of like doing this on my own. I was like, okay, I choose to only receive, you know, this if it's love in it, right? And then the first time we, she kind of turned the, turned the channel. I'm like, okay, that's interesting. Like as soon as I'd made that choice. So obviously what we were listening to wasn't really the thing. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And then we had we had a we were talking about it in the car the other day as well like yeah no not the this doesn't feel good if you feel into things right you can kind of like get a gauge but so we're like well choose only to receive the love and then kind of like the whole radio just kind of <laughs> blacked out <laughs> like it kind of no connection it's like oh that's very interesting so yeah you can see how how powerful your choice is too when you choose that but mm-hmm. I think those are very interesting uh examples of you know the the way we don't think about things even like Mm -hmm. you know because we have all this popular music and stuff like that and is it all good vibes or is it something not right about it Mm -hmm. and you can feel into it and just choose to receive it with love so that's one way yeah right yeah because as you are cultivating your twin flame union you're essentially shoring up energy leaks and energy leaks are can be so many different things. It can be relationships, unhealthy relationships mm-hmm. with people in your life. It can be unhealthy relationships with food, mm-hmm. with a uh, you know music. Mm-hmm. It can be and your and it's going to be specific to each person. It's not going to be the same for every single one. And where your consciousness is at currently is what's going to vibe with you Mm -hmm. or what won't vibe with you. And something that I was just thinking of too, is that we're energetic beings first and literally everything that we create is energy at the core. Mm -hmm. So like, let's say if you're angry and you're making yourself dinner and you're putting all the ingredients together and you're angry and you're just, you're stewing inside. Well, what do you, what you're creating in that moment that, dinner Mm -hmm. you're creating it with anger so whatever you when you go to eat that or if you're feeding it to other people you're feeding them all of those negative emotions you're outputting anger you're outputting Mm -hmm. negative feelings and so you know bringing this back to self while you're manifesting your your union it's important that you are choosing to uh embody love Mm -hmm. and to receive love and allowing love to be the core of of everything that you do and what you cultivate for yourself and and what you output right well and when you were talking about you know eating i guess Mm -hmm. like i I don't know if you kind of because when you put that energy into the food and you're putting that back into your body right right right. i think you missed that part yeah i missed that part but there's been like actual scientific studies on water on this uh how you talk to the water what energy is put into it mm-hmm. and it will look different so yeah. you can look that up it's it's true so we can see how energy is very important and i think they did this with plants too mm-hmm. where they did like some plants they were like talking nice to them and loving them up and yeah. then other plants they were like screaming and there was a lot of negative energy and you could like see yeah. the difference in that mm-hmm. so we don't really think about that, but all that stuff we're kind of like adding back to ourselves or, you know, yeah. putting out there. So Exactly. And, you know, something like relationship wise, when we were experiencing physical separation, uh, I was with a, well, I had transcended a soulmate relationship, but I was also healing through codependency. Mm. 
And on Adam's side, Adam was moving through codependency with a family member. Mm -hmm. And so it looked differently on both sides, but it was still the same codependency energy. And that is an energy leak because there's uh, an, a, a dependency on something other than your source or, you know, um, the, you, the universe, the one that created you. And so these are all kinds of ways that you can be leaking away your energy or, you know, inviting something in that doesn't serve you, uh, serve your highest good. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Lack of boundaries too, perhaps. Lack of boundaries. People pleasing. Yep. But just remember, if you can just stand that little bit of uncomfortability when you're saying no to someone, that you know you're going to be so happy afterwards. Mm -hmm. It's going to be great. So just uh, live with that little bit of uncomfortability and you're going to feel... <laughs> feel because you're building there, right? Like right. Uh, yeah. But it's yeah. just... Uh, yeah. It doesn't feel good to feel uncomfortable. That's why we say yes to think we don't want to mm -hmm. do. Mm -hmm. So. And you may ask yourself, you know, okay, well... How do I know? How do I know if I have an energy leak? You know, what is that going to look like or feel like in my life? Well, that's the key indicator is the feeling. Okay. That's how you're going to know. And so you can choose to um, only have a relationship with love, with unconditional love. Mm -hmm. And in you making that choice, that's the first step. And so things in your life might pop up that you might find, you know, that used to feel good, but that doesn't feel good anymore. And then you're, you're going to want to assess that. Why doesn't, why doesn't it feel good? Mm -hmm. And maybe it's something that, you know, you need to clean up in, in your relationship or in your energetic being and just follow the steps as you're guided to align yourself to love there. And you'll be intuitively guided. You'll know what that looks like and what it feels like. Well, remember also you're refining yourself while you're healing. So yeah, things right. are going to feel different. Yeah. So, you know, maybe when you watch TV and those same things you used to watch before and felt fine with might feel a bit odd. And it's kind of like maybe, yeah. maybe there's some heaviness or something and you might want to check in on that. Yeah, I'm glad that you said that because I used to be a massive reality show like fiend. Like I was obsessed with reality TV and with where I'm at today and all of the healing that I've done, I can't really stand to watch much reality TV because a lot of it's drama mm -hmm. and like an, a lot of negativity. Mm -hmm. And so I, I just don't vibe with that anymore, whereas I very much used to. Mm -hmm. And so you can just see as you are walking the path of ascension, things are just going to naturally vibrate out of your reality because you don't really resonate with it any longer. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So take a look at where you're at, what you're ingesting mm -hmm. into your system and see if it's still for you. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. And so it's just about honoring your process, mm -hmm. honoring yourself and seeing what works for you and what doesn't. Mm -hmm. And knowing that at every single time that you refine yourself further, you align your being to love, your twin flame naturally meets you there. Just as we healed, you know, codependency at the exact same time, mm -hmm. we didn't even know it. Mm -hmm. Okay, we didn't even know that until we come into Harmonious Twin Flame Union and we were just talking. Mm -hmm. And we're like, wow, we were actually healing that at the exact same time. Mm -hmm. And uh, that energy that we shored up in our relationships was then invested into our union, into our energetic foundation together. This is good stuff, important it's, stuff. It is yeah. very important. Mm -hmm. Right. You have anything else you want to add to this? Well, I feel like, you know, we're all going through it together, kind of like, mm -hmm. you know, uh, cleaning out our, you know, space, energetic space with everything mm -hmm. that's not uh, supposed to be there. And for me, it's a lot with just music and mm -hmm. kind of like what, what I'm taking in. And yeah, just yeah. seeing, of course, music is great, but not all of it. So <laughs> but it's not like don't listen to like, you know, rock, but that doesn't mean anything. But it's just the energy of it. Right. So, right. Right. Yeah. What is it? Is it love? Is it not? It, yeah, exactly. Exactly. Mm. Yeah. All right. Anything Good. else you want to say? That's it. No? Mm -hmm. You feel complete? I feel very complete. Very complete. Very complete. All right. <laughs> so don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and we will see you in the next video.